and I think they didn't want the mayor to crock himself. Was that a possibility, Mr. Mayor? I, I don't think so. Uh, a countdown from you, Worthing, from five. Let's see the Worthing 2009 International Birdman get underway for Sunday. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. That's Nick White, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, Paul's flying today for charity. Diabetes UK. What a mover. Let's go, girl. Okay, looks like he's nearly ready to go, everybody. This is Paul Fessley, or Pauline as he's known. Kingfisher Flyers. That's fantastic. Now there is a people's vote, everybody. Okay. Some free craft moves here from our nurses and children. And there they go, Vicky and Nero are off. Let's get our safety boat in, please. Make sure they're all right. Here we go, here goes the Pope. Oh, they're both gone. There goes the Pope. <laughs> okay, if you look at the big screens, we're going to check out the replay any second. Okay, we took the Pope Mobile away from him. His security guard came. Okay, let's hear you. Let's hear you clapping, everybody. We've got our lady astronaut about to launch. Here we go. Three, two, one. Ready for launch. Here she goes. Woohoo! Getting our safety boat in nice and quick for Nick the Mansbridge. A fantastic effort there by the locals of the Cricketers Pub. Okay, this is the fly of the Bumblebee. Ricky's looking a bit agitated here. You can see the beers lined up on the bar. Check out those beers, Mick. Here we go. Let's hear everybody for the Broadwater, the Cricketers Pub in Broadwater. Here they go, go on, Ricky. Only in Britain can we see scenes like this, ladies and gentlemen. We have a Ruby Gooby bird and our cat. And the cat's chasing the bird. Oh, looks like they're going to go. Here we are. Oh. Fantastic. Delvoy. Delvoy's got his blow up doll. Is he going to hang about? Oh, what's he next there? Well, let's hear it for one of our famous TV characters. Come on, Del Boy. Here he goes. Oh, I say, Rodney. There's a lady in the water safety boat. If you can get here, get her. Fantastic. Because when he um, split up with his wife, he sold his entire life on eBay. Now, I'm sure most of the guys here will appreciate that. Sounds quite an interesting feat. Come on, Ian. Come on, let's come, come and tell me what your ostrich is called. 
Alright, this is Ozzy, the ostrich, and it, you've come from far away. Let's tell us about that story, please. Yes, I live in Perth in Western Australia. I've actually flown in to do this from Denver in Colorado. I'm, I'm traveling around um, trying to achieve a few things on my list of goals. This is one of them today. And tell me about the eBay story. I'm sure lots of people will be interested in this eBay story of yours. Yes, last year um, I, I put my life up for sale on eBay and uh, that got a little bit of publicity. How much money did you raise? Um, actually, the buyer dropped out in the end, and I had to sell my house in, in a much more traditional manner. Um, but that, that has enabled me to go on some extended travels and to, to do some fantastic things. And at the moment, I'm trying to. One of my goals is to raise funds for bowel cancer research and awareness. And so, would you recommend recommending anybody here selling their lives on eBay? Probably not. No, it, it didn't quite work out as I hoped, but it certainly has let me go on and do, do some new adventures and, and change my life, definitely. And you're aiming to do a hundred different events around the world in a hundred weeks. Tell me a bit more about that. Well, yes, yeah, I've, I made a list of a hundred goals, a hundred things I always wanted to do. Uh, I set myself a time limit for a hundred weeks. This is number 55, so it's all going well. I've done all sorts of stuff. I've swum with whales. Um, worked in a soup kitchen on Christmas Day, travelled across America, drove across Route 66, all sorts of stuff. It, it's been a fantastic voyage so far. That sounds a really interesting achievement. And what have you got coming up? Where are you heading to next? Next, it's back to Colorado for a bit of climbing, um, down to Las Vegas for some gambling, and then I've got to go and try and get a, a small role in a movie in Hollywood. And so where does the wording Birdman sit in the hierarchy of your achievements? Well, this, if I achieve this today, or if we achieve this today, myself and the bird, this is goal number 55. Okay, without further ado, let me make way for you, sir. Off you go. This is the 8722. Obviously, everybody's raising valuable money for charity, so let's support them, please. I'm not sure about your trainers, Ian. Here he goes. Fantastic. Let's have a big round of applause from friends on the pier, please. Fantastic. Okay, the ostrich is fine apparently. Not sure about the owner. Okay, we're going to get our next ramp flyer. Here we go, Lucy. Next up, we've got Matthew. I'm sure you all recognise this famous music. We fly to the Dam Busters. Queen Alexander Hospital Home is a very famous charity in Worthing for ex service personnel. It looks like air traffic control has given Wing Commander Matthew Royal. He's got five seconds. Oh, is he going to go with or without craft? Three, two, one. We're going to get some takeoff. Come on, Wing Commander. Brilliant. Come fly with me. Let's fly, let's fly away. Come and there goes our puffin, Steve Bond from Worthing. Let's hear it, everybody. Fantastic. Here we go, we got some music. Okay, let's hear it everybody. Oh. Okay, Inspector Cash is pulling an umbrella from somewhere we can't see. Jim's Inspector Gadget, he's on his stag do. He's got a massive wealth of support here on the nightclub. Ten seconds. Come on then, Jim, it's time to fly. Here we go. Come on then, Jim. Let's give him a countdown, everybody. Five, four, three, two, one. Happy wedding, Jim. <laughs> Fantastic. Get down. Five, four, here they go. Battle of Britain style. That was Chris Pugh and Kevin Dewhurst. Flag. Okay, here we go. John Donnelly, a local plumber, raising money for St Barnabas. Fantastic effort. <laughs>